And that makes the whole front end look different. It does, don't it? Lip on a budget. Lip on a budget. It's my old EK time. It needs some love. She needs some love. She needs some love. Oh, hey. Got a drill with a fillet. This guy. So, you know where we're at. You know where we're at, don't you? No. Seamless garage. You know where we're at. Where we at? Where we at, D? I don't know. Where are we, man? We're out of there. We got fun. So, DJ decided to hit a deer going about 80 miles an hour. Down the highway. He's doing 60. 60. 60. And did some damage. You gotta get to work. So. You gotta get to work. Over here in East Texas, man, we got deer running rampant He's when it's cold. Daily. When it's cold out. The little EK daily. Let's give it, let's, let's admire it for a minute. Let's admire the ride. A little manual. A little manual action. Show the inside. She's <laughs> she a little dirty. Got to have the obligatory tow hook in the back. But uh, so the project is we're just gonna. It didn't do too much damage. It just beat up that headlight, messed up this here. We got uh, we got. Let's see here. You know, license plate all beat up. A little crack here, but we're not going to worry with that. But we're going to replace these headlights. We're going to replace that. And we're going to attempt to install a lip kit. Hmm. Get the little leftover of the old lip off of there. That's all that's left of The leftover. That's all that's left that's of the lip. That's all that's left of the lip. What it bust? Or two top. Yeah. Tube tops. I mean, a deer at 60, bro. I, I'm gonna say that's pretty good. I think you won on There's that. There's a little crack you can barely see. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. I think I won. I think you won the, the battle. I don't think that deer feels too good. Do you think the deer survived? I, he got up and took our money. <laughs> Yeah, of course there's yeah, yeah. Is that it? That's it. No, there may be one there. We may have to pull that whole bumper off. Yeah. Do the other side. I was gonna say on most most cars, you gotta pull the front bumper off to get to it. So let's take these clips out. Ba -da, ba -ba -ba. Yeah. You can really notice that crack right they there. They popped out? Yeah, this So this is out. how you take the clip out properly, one handed, with a camera in your hand. Good job. Okay, just like that. And then you'll take, look, it's out. And DJ's still fighting with this. <laughs> I busted that one up. Don't pull it on out of there. Luckily, we have a whole set of clips, bro. There you go. Just it's like down there that. somewhere. And what is it? Just that other 
So, yeah, it's going to be that bolt. Is it a pillar or is it a bolt? Don't know. Right. Did I thought use your Phillips? Is it Phillips too? Yeah, it's Phillips. I had to look. Should work. Looks a little rounded in there though. It may not. Yeah, meat. Look at this. Look at that meat? shop doll. Look at that meat. Look at that meat on there. Look at how skinny that thing is. Shop doll. Man, I can't see in there. Lift be nice. But who has one of them? <laughs> we got one with two cars on it. We didn't expect to be working on the dailies. Should just pop. If you took the right bolt out. There you go. It's been on there since about 94, 95. Oh, I think it would come back. All right. <laughs> So it looks like you got a bolt right there. Mm-hmm. So it lives right there on either side. And so, right here. Okay, yep. so you got that one. You'll have the two set up here and then the one on the corner of the show. Or we don't do a how-to when we just do a, look what we did today. Video. A look what we did today, video, huh? I guess we were gonna pull the bumper off. We did already. Right. That's all. Off all the way. That's off enough. We don't need it all the way off. You can if you want. That's my guess. What's holding it on on the bottom? Something under there? It's clipped onto the frame down there, dummy. Dummy. Well, we'll just leave it there. <laughs> you don't have to call me stuff like that. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, nobody don't know. He said it's off enough. I couldn't agree more. There you go. Unplug her. Why don't you unplug her? Or you can do it like that and have to unplug it. Well, I gotta have that bulb anyway. You do? Well, then you get, didn't get the right headlights because I told you to get LEDs, man. Jeez. Man, I'm poor, bro. Look, it's seen its, it's seen its life. It's it's done. <laughs> it was actually still working until it started raining and the water got off in there. Mm -hmm. That's all it takes. But it was still working. Gotta short out. Oh, it's all cracked in the back too. Yeah, it was gonna, it was gonna get moisture regardless, bro. It's all busted and disgusted. Wait, what is this for? Adjustments. Okay. Come on, bro. What? What do I look like? I'm doing education for the people watching, not for you. Busted. Look how yellow they are. Anyway, they already needed to be replaced. They're far from clear. I tried the um. Bug killer trick that I seen. Yeah, on, it don't work. It don't work. It doesn't work. It helps a little. The WD40, it doesn't work. None of that stuff works. They're all gimmicks, man. It helps a little. They don't make them original. I can show you how to make them original. You guys want to see a video on how to restore some headlights properly and make it where they look original, clear? Give a thumbs up on this video. Comment below whether you want to see that video or not. I'll show you how we do it in a real automotive shop and a real dealership to make Look your that. headlights crystal clear again. So good that we do a lifetime warranty on them at our shop. Let me know if you want to see it, comment below. It didn't bend that. Nope, that's good. That's where your bumper clips into. These are the cheapest headlights I could find. They look pretty 60 good. 60 bucks. Oh, so you want the cheapies? For both of them, Brandon. It's That's just cheap. a daily, bro. That's cheap. What do you mean? It's just a daily. This guy says it's just as long a daily. as they work. I'm good. Just a daily, bro. We gotta look good in our dailies. So flip this back, slide her in, and she's only gonna fit one way. You see these little grooves here? Yeah. You gotta line them up with your grooves. Let me get some light so that the camera can see what we're doing too. 
Just in case they want a little info. Yeah, that's it right there. Yeah. And then what is this? Clip over? Mm-hmm. Clips over. You're going to go all the way. You see where it's going to go? Mm-hmm. That's it. Yep. That's it. Let's it's see. It. Plug it's in there like somewhere. Yep, that's right. Then this one will just go Man, in. Man, we picked the darkest spot in the shop, the video. We just did a whole... We literally did. We just, we just put up all new lights. We did that. That was for the bumper. We lined up over here. Mm hmm. Go ahead and get you some bolts started. You should be set. Easy peasy, huh? Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Difficulty level on a 1 to 10, what would you say? 2. 2? It's not. Bro, it's just. 2? If you have the grill like I already had in there, I'd I already know. took the factory grill off. The factory grill is a lot tougher to get off. Get off than that one was. Keep that in mind. What do you think? A three? Four. I don't know. Couldn't be a four, right? Gotta be two or three. I just think for some people taking the bumpers off is intimidating. I talk to Texas that think that, man, I gotta take the bumper off. Bro, it takes you five seconds. Jussie, did you catch what I learned from you on camera just then? What? Don't ever tighten anything all the way down until you're finished. Yep. Who'd I learn that from? You, dude, you've picked up so much stuff from me, man. And I just learned it over the years, taught myself, man. That's Mr. Miyagi. You're stuck. <laughs> and I'm Daniel. <laughs> Dude, you're, you're picking up stuff from years of experience I picked up, and you're picking it up easy. Boy, you need to start paying me. <laughs> you're picking it up, man. I'm proud of you. I'm going to Nissan, bro. You're actually learning, man. Like, you don't just... You don't just hear me, and then next time do it the same way again. All right. Talk me down. Man, we're good. I already like the way those look over the other stock ones. Over the stockers. So you do? Mm-hmm. I like them. That's probably all she's got. It's all plastic. You don't want to give it to all right. I'm not going to show you on both sides. You already know what it's like on one side. We're going to get the next one done and then show you the end result. Oh, yeah. Bright. Yep. Like it's working? Yep. Okay. You got bright? Oh, yeah. We're good. I think they're way brighter, too. Being clear instead of having that yellow film over them like that. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be brighter. Look at how yellow that is. I didn't pull that film off. Though. Compared to... Clear. If you look at them, they're designed the same though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They replicated them, but they made them with the, you know what I mean? The black bezel. No, it's, it's just the Oh, yeah. They made it with the black bezel. So, like, if you look at the design, it's actually the same. Yeah. I like it's just that. Just like the factory. Yeah. They just changed it, took the chromey out of there. And, uh, yeah, looks good. I like it. Yeah, they didn't change a whole lot as far as the way it's designed. Yeah. Not bad for cheapies. I like that too. When you just change up the stock just a little bit. You know yeah. what I mean? Because you know us, we're about clean now. We don't want anything off the wall like some yeah. crazy looking stuff. We just I like the clean. Clear look. Yeah. They yeah. had smoked ones, but that'd be hard to see at night. Yeah, I think that looks good. I like that one. I'd pick that one over the smoked one still. Yeah, I like I used to be into the smoke stuff. We used to 10R. They still sell halos for this thing. Yeah. 
They'll probably keep selling them, man. This chassis is popular. She is. better on camera boy. I bet it done. Gotta get it lit in here man. Liddy. <laughs> Liddy. No. Uh -uh. Like that. Twist it. Except these are some soft little clips boy. Need those clip pliers I got. I didn't bring them with me. I didn't figure we'd be doing with clips. This is modern, son. It's 2000. <laughs> All right, get your pliers or something. Pull that out. <laughs> got them cheap clips. That don't, oh boy, we cuss Amazon those. Amazon Prime. We cuss those at work, bro. We're like, yep, Johnny done, got, done worked on his car at his house. Done put those on there. Old Johnny. Where'd it go? Probably Jada Pinkett put those on there. Yeah, but see these? These are the types that are on Nissan. Look at that. Those are hard. Those are hard. Did you see that? What was that? Where'd that come from? Bro, where'd that come from? It was sitting on the fan. You know where that came from. Remember we Did took it come that? out of my car? Yeah, it come out of your hatch. Bro, I'm going to keep that, bro. <laughs> put that on my visor. <laughs> That's nice. No, we're putting a seamless... Uh, we're putting a seamless visor band on here. Visor, dog. You heard me? That's so nice. It's gonna be legit. That's dude. at least ten dollars. You'll see. The seamless visor band, bro. Coming soon. Seamless set. clip. Alright. Let's do it. I gotta put the bolt in this uh Yeah, show sure enough. Well, that light makes a difference, boy. It's lit up like a Christmas tree in here. Because uh, it's got, she's got, it's got grain in that road. Are you talking about Charlie, boy? Char Charlie, boy. Charlie. <laughs> With no R. Charlie. Now, how's that going to work? I don't think it does. Hold on, let's get this off camera. Okay, after about 30, 45 minutes of heavily modified this front grill, that's what we got. Finished product. Cheap. Cheap. But cheap. Cheap, but it looks good. Look at them lights, though. Woo! Sick. Sick. All for, uh, all for under 100 bucks, you can completely change the whole look of the front end. Yeah. Including the lip that we're going to show you how to install. Ooh. Do a little bit of preventative maintenance. If it fixes his sputtering problem, it's cutting out. She's got a sputtering problem. She stutters a little. She stutters just a little bit. How much would y'all charge at the shop to do everything we gonna get? Well, I will tell you. That we had charged about, I'd probably charge about two hours to do those headlights. So you're looking at about $260 in labor there. To modify that grill, bro. Uh, at least another hour, so 130 there. Do that fuel filter, I'd charge you an hour. So you look at. Yeah. For this? Yeah. I don't charge less than an hour for anything, dog. Uh, so, oh, y'all got an hour minimum. Yeah. Well, I got an hour minimum. I don't know about other techs. Uh. Foot pail. It has a washer. I can get it with a magnet if I can find it. Show them how to take that off and then I'll flip that. Alright, swing it. Go ahead and take that bolt off. 
It's not gonna come out unless you take that bolt down. You see why? Because this is hitting that ridge. That a hinge? Yep, just like that. There you go. There you go. Now, is there any way to open that open? You can cut it open. Ooh, you get dirty all out of there. You see that dirty stuff coming yeah, out? Yeah. yeah, that's trash. Throw it in that 4GC3 block. Make it, make it good. Oh, you want me to show you what it looks like? The junk pile. That's what it's going to look like here. Finished product. Yeah. Pretty clean. Lip on a budget. Lip on a budget. What are you gonna do, go around? Yeah. Are we gonna go around this edge right here? Or not? Uh, I wouldn't. Just make it's it easy. It's gonna be weird when you've been there. Yeah. Yeah, you just put right. yourself tap right under there. Yeah, I got you. So go for it. That way uh, you get the exact length. Yeah. You gotta get this right, though. You gotta get it right. I don't want self tapper to hold. You're gonna follow my own list. That's what I would do, yeah. I'd go like right in that ridge. What do you think about it? I think it changed the way it looks. Pretty good. I'm just going to cut this off and then I'm going to trim it.
that makes the whole front end look different. It does, don't it?